everyone, my name is Cooper Ray and welcome to Music and Mission. In this segment, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the truth that no matter how tough life can be and how desperate the circumstances might seem, um, that God is always near. And uh, I'm going to sing a song for you called I Know You Are Near. And also you're going to want to stay tuned because we have a special guest coming up uh, later on in the segment. We'll be singing one of their own original songs, and uh, you're not going to want to miss that either. And as we begin this time together, let us just begin with a short, simple prayer. And so we say in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord God, we give you thanks and praise for your presence here with us right now. And um, I just thank you so much for the ways that you moved in my life, the way that you've moved in, in our lives, perhaps in a way that... Um, at first we didn't see you, at first we didn't um, notice you in the struggle, during the trial or the temptation. And uh, Lord, we thank you for always showing up, for always being there, for never leaving us orphaned. spiritual side or under attack in so many different ways and um, 
in those times, it, it's, it's easy to lose sight. It's easy to lose sight of, of uh, maybe where God is in our life. And um, when I was writing this song, one of the things that I thought about was the fact that, uh, was that story of Peter um, walking on the water. You know, the, you know, the, you know if you remember the story, you, you know that um, the apostles uh, went ahead of Jesus across the, the lake there at um, the Sea of Galilee. And, um, and, and as they're going across the lake, it says that they were at the, the fourth watch of the night or something like that. And, um, and, it, and if you don't know what that is, it's just, it just means that it was really late. It was almost dawn. And um, they had been rowing all night long against the, the wind and the waves. And, um, and then all of a sudden, Jesus is kind of, what it says that in Scripture, it's going to pass them by, which means, in, in translation, actually means that he's going to like reveal himself to them. And so he walks, um, he, he walks near the boat, and they look at him and they think, oh my gosh, it's a ghost. And uh, Jesus says, take courage, it is I. And then Peter, you know, always, always the brave one, always the one who's going to speak up and say something, right? So Peter gets up and he says, Lord, if it is you, then call me out onto the water. And Jesus says, come to me, Peter. And Peter gets out of the boat and um, he starts walking on water. And I, I just, you know, I'm so amazed in that moment, you know, because Peter literally is like in the middle of a miracle, in the middle of like actually being part of it in a very, very real and tangible way. And I, I just wonder what that would have been like, not only for him, but even the apostles, you know, like they're just watching this happen and probably just can't even begin to understand or fathom what is happening in this moment. And, um, and, and for a moment, he's walking on water, and he's walking towards Jesus. And then um, he starts to pay attention to the wind and the rain and the waves around him. And he takes his eyes off of Jesus. And of course, once he does that, he starts to go under the water. Um, and so uh, right before he's about to sink and, and his head go and his face and his head go underneath the water, he calls out to Jesus, and Jesus picks him up and puts him back in the boat and says, why did you doubt? You have little faith, you know, almost as if, buddy, almost like a father would say to a son, you know, you are doing it, look, and, and you, it's almost like whenever you're, you know, like when a, when a little kid is learning how to ride a bike and they just stop pedaling, you know, it's like, why did you stop pedaling? You know, I think that's what Jesus was thinking. Why did you keep, take your eyes off of me? I was right here. You were walking on water. Did you not notice that? And, and it just, it's just amazing, you know, and I think that's what happens a lot of times. Like, we start to focus on the wind and the rain, and that might not be the little literal wind and rain, but it might be just like we start focusing on the trial and the struggle and the problem and the issue, whatever it is at hand, and we take our eyes off Jesus, and Jesus is like, why? Why did you take your eyes off of me when you needed me most? When you were in this struggle, why did you do that? Don't take your eyes off of me. And that's the message that Jesus has for us right now, is that no matter what we're experiencing in our life, no matter what struggle it is, that we are to keep our eyes on Him. And if that means being, um, continue to be involved in the sacraments or to devote ourselves daily to prayer, whatever it is, do not take your eyes off of Jesus, um, especially in those moments whenever we need Him the most. Um, cry out to Him. Cry out to Him. When I cried out to you, you answered my plea. You strengthened my spirit when you came to me. Oh, Lord of my life, I will ever sing your praise. Lord God, we thank you so much. We give you praise and know that you are near in our struggles, you are near in our trials, you are near in our joys and our triumphs, um, you are always near. Help us to be, to remember always that um, you will never leave us orphan, that you will never abandon us, um, no matter how hard it gets, no matter what the trial is, you are near. I know you are near.
Hello, familia. My name is Ivan Diaz. I'm a Catholic songwriter, and it's such a blessing to be part of Music and Mission. I will be singing today Nuestra Alegría, Our Joy, inspired in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 25, verses 35 to 40. Verses 40 says, Whatever you did for one of these least brothers of mine, you did for me. Our mission is to love one another, to serve one another. God bless. Jesús nos llama a ir al encuentro de su pueblo en todo lugar. Jesus has called us to go out in mission, bringing God's mercy and peace to the world. Hoy es el tiempo de ir al encuentro, dando consuelo y sanando el dolor. This is the time to go to the outcast, bringing God's love, God's love to all. Nuestra alegría está en el servicio, nuestra misión es evangelizar. Nuestra cultura es el encuentro con nuestro Dios. La humanidad, our joy is service to one another, proclaiming good news in word and deed. Ours is a culture of loving encounter, one with our God and humanity. Jesús se encuentra entre los pobres y los olvidados en todo lugar. Whatever we do for the least of God's people is proof that God's love and mercy abound. Somos testigos del amor de Dios. Con obras y gestos hacemos misión. Bearing the fruit of lovely vocation that all may come to know and believe. Nuestra alegría está en el servicio. Nuestra misión es evangelizar. Nuestra cultura es del encuentro con nuestro Dios. La humanidad, nuestra cultura es del encuentro con nuestro Dios y la humanidad. Our joy is service to one another, proclaiming good news in word and deed. Ours is a culture of loving encounter, one with our God and humanity. Nuestro Dios y la humanidad, one with our God and humanity, and that is our joy. Esa es nuestra alegría. God bless you. Bendiciones. <laughs>